Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Sancho here. Um, I just want to start off the video again, like I always do, thanking you guys for the support so far. Um, I'm glad you guys are enjoying the content. Uh, please hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. I know a lot of the people watching this aren't subscribed. Um, I know I had a lot of people on the display scaling video either ask for my Discord, um, asking questions about I can't get it to work, um, I tried exactly what you did, I made sure I didn't skip any steps. So I'm going to go through and show you guys what I would be doing to help you so you can follow step by step and try to get it to work because if you do have a display scaler on your monitor the CRU program is just very finicky and sometimes with like different monitors it doesn't work doing the same thing and you have to try, try different things and do it in a certain order um, so I'm just gonna go through that right now and uh, make sure you follow every step here and uh, hope you guys enjoy okay so first things first if you're positive that you've tried a million things and you just can't get it to work and you've messed around in CRU deleting different files um, reboot your computer into safe mode I'm not going to do it obviously but um, and use DDU display driver uninstaller to um, remove your graphics card because likely you downloaded a profile or something along the lines that is messing with it possibly um, maybe it's a custom resolution maybe it's a certain setting but it's just not working for you so just like open the file in uh, safe mode I'll show you guys what it looks like so when you open it up it's gonna look like this you click on GPU Nvidia clean and restart so now do that your computer will restart and I'm going to show you what to do right when it comes back. So when it comes back up, you're going to go into settings, I'm sorry, device manager, monitors, should be generic PNP after that, uninstall the device, then click uninstall. So then reinstall your graphics driver so say you were using like 44 uh 441.41 so then just go to nvidia site and download it and run a clean installation it'll give you the option if you want to do like express or custom run a clean one so it doesn't keep any profiles that were still on your computer um that are messing with the nvidia software so now when that downloads again and you've deleted the monitor software um, the next step is to restart your computer completely before you do anything um, if you do have any problems with that you can also try deleting the device manager um, the software after you do the uh, Nvidia driver it might be quicker doing it that way actually um, either way it should work both ways um, so then to restart your computer and uh, come back to this point again so now that you've restarted your computer um, let me open CRU and restart it so it's the same thing as you guys okay so we just restarted again I know the restarts get annoying but it, it helps to just full restart it um, go into your NVIDIA control panel don't change any settings in the control panel because it'll all be different because you just did a clean installation except no scaling display override scaling mode set by games and programs now we're going to open up CRU So when we're at this point here, this is where you want to, anytime you are starting over CRU, I would recommend doing those steps before to make sure that you have nothing that interferes with it. So I'm not going to actually um, restart my computer after I do this, after a few steps here so I can show the different ways of doing it, but this is how you want to do it the first time. So add.
1747 or whatever you want to play on. I know Jarian, it's Jarian came out with a video saying the 1722 um, by 1070. I did try that today. It was okay. I'm going to go back to this now to see um, how it feels. So you're going to type in your FPS for your monitor. 239. 99. Nine 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 eight. There we go. We're not over two forty. Click OK. Leave it here. Do not bring it up yet. Click OK. And then restart sixty four. Okay, so now we ran restart sixty four. Go to into settings, system, display, advanced display settings, display adapter properties, list all modes. Now scroll to the one you want, 1747 by 1080, click OK, click Apply, and then don't press anything. So now if you do this step and you get a black screen, if you don't press anything, it'll go back to being the way it was. Um, if it doesn't and you still get a black screen after, there's different ways. I will link you to um, Adam X's guide that he posted on Twitter, or you can just search it on Twitter of how to get rid of the black screen. But don't click anything after this step and leave it there, and then click Okay, again, don't apply that. Make sure you still have whatever resolution it started with that graphics driver you just downloaded. Exit out, go back into CRU, click yes. Go up to here, up, make sure it's on top. Click okay, restart 64 again. Okay, so now after you run restart 64, restart your computer and come back to this again. So now that we've restarted again, now we can um, go on to the next step, which is making sure under our settings, display, this right here, display resolution, that what we want is recommended. So now before we open Fortnite, make sure you do this. Do not skip this step because it's important. If you have it on read only, it will not work. Just delete the Fortnite game file or add like a one after it if you want to. That also works. I just prefer to delete it so it's gone. So now open Fortnite and go to um, full resolution. And if you have the uh, like the full screen resolution, and if you still have black bars, we're gonna try something else. And now we shouldn't have to restart again from this point. I'm gonna show you what the different steps are to restart your computer. That is, you will have to restart. Um. So we're going to go back into CRU, make sure this is on top. The first thing we're going to do is delete all of the extension blocks. So delete that. I'm not going to save these steps so you guys can see what it looks like every time. So I'm just going to back out. Try this. Click OK. Restart 64. And then load back into Fortnite. You, you After you delete that um, Fortnite game file the first time, you do not have to do it again um, for the remainder of like this part with CRU. So I'm going to back out of this again so you can see what to do next. So now you do that and you delete the extension blocks and that didn't work. Okay, so now all you're going to do is go and delete the standard resolutions as well. Click OK, restart 64, load into Fortnite. Okay, now see if that works. If not, We're going to delete this under here. We're going to delete here, here. And all of these. We're going to click OK. Restart 64. Load back into Fortnite and see if it works. OK, so now we've done that and it's still not working. So we're going to go through and try to change a few other settings to see if something's blocking it from changing to full screen for you. So we're going to go into the Fortnite fold or the file explorer, local C disk, program files, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, Win64, scroll down until you find these four. So now we're going to do this with every app every um, one of these four with the Fortnite uh, logo on it. We're gonna go 
compatibility, disable full screen optimizations, change high DPI settings, override high DPI scaling performed by application, apply, okay. We're going to do this for all four of them. Okay, so now we've tried that, we can load back into Fortnite, see if that works, and didn't work again. So now we're going to go into Settings, System, Advanced Display Settings, Display Adapter Properties, List All Modes, if these still show up here, and you deleted that extension block, go in and restart your computer again. See if that helps. Okay. Next step to check is we're going to go in and we're going to click on our resolution straight here. Keep the changes. We're going to go back, we're going to go to our NVIDIA control panel, we're going to go to change resolution, we're going to make sure it shows up here with the FPS that you want. So you saw me click on that uh, extension with the 240 that I made and it only showed up with 120 in here. So change it to 240, you can try that. Okay, so now you went through and you made all of these changes and, and tweaks to see if you can get it to work. And it still didn't work. Restart your computer again if you haven't in between doing those steps. Check and see if it works again. If it doesn't work again, we're going to go back into CRU. So this is what it took for mine to work the second time. First time I did it when you saw on the video and it worked. I didn't need the extension blocks. But then um, I reinstalled my graphics driver and it didn't work. And I was like, oh, what the heck? So then I had to go in and delete the extension blocks here. I think it was showing up as the 120 FPS, which I didn't create in CRU. I created that in, um, it's created through the extension block, not in the detailed resolution. So that's not why it wasn't scaling correctly. Um, Another thing you can try if that doesn't work is adding the detailed resolution here. Thirty-nine point nine nine eight LCD native. Click OK. Click OK. All right here. Um, if these steps didn't work, so after you do that, you have to click OK and restart 64, obviously, again. If these steps didn't work, you either um, don't have a display scaler in your monitor like you thought you did, or I don't know something that why it's not working, and uh, hopefully someone else can figure it out. But I hope this video really helps out for you guys because... I know a lot of people were um, having trouble with getting it to work and I really wanted to help everyone and through Discord but the video kind of blew up a little bit and I just, I don't have time to get to everybody. 
So um, let me know if this video helps. Let, put in the comments if you did something different than this um, to get it to work. And I will add them all to a pinned tweet to help you guys out. Um, other than that, I hope everyone has a great day. Uh, let's get that my last video to 200 likes so we can do the uh, ping reduction video for Fortnite. Uh, thank you guys so much. Peace.